Hello everybody, my name is Nick Peralta of the MMA Discussion Facebook page. I'm also a writer for MMAOutsiders.com and I'm trying something a bit different this time around. This segment doesn't really have a name yet, so I'm sure you guys can help me work that out if this kicks off nicely. I will be giving you guys your weekly MMA recap from August 8th till August 12th, as well as answering some fan questions. Let's kick this bitch out! Bloody Elbow reporting that George St. Pierre has begun the drug testing process to return to MMA. Good on you, George. By the way, oh shit, George St. Pierre is coming back? For those of you that don't know how this works, when you come out of retirement or simply haven't fought since you saw it has been in effect, you are required to take a four month mandatory drug testing period before you can return. Makes sense. Now Brock Lesnar, of course, got exemption from such testing. <laughs> we all saw how that went. In an interview with Bloody Elbow, George St. Pierre stated he was not shying away from any testing and will look to compete shortly after the four month mandatory period is done. All right, George, I love it. Conor McGregor, unsure of going back to 145 after UFC 202, interested in Nate Diaz's trilogy. Ugh, look, I get that Conor McGregor is all about the money fights, and a trilogy fight with Nate Diaz is certainly that if he wins at UFC 202. But come the fuck on, man! Move this shit along, man. He's actively fighting, so strip his heavy ass. Let that division move on. You got guys like Max Holloway who have more than earned their chance at a title shot. And for those that are unaware, Max Holloway has won nine fights straight. Dude, nine! That's the new record for the longest active winning streak by a fighter that either, one, didn't fight for the title, or two, wasn't already a champion. Strip Connor and make Aldo or Holloway happen, or take some goddamn control and get McGregor to defend that strap, Dana. Make it happen. Alexa Grasso makes her UFC debut against Heather Joe Clark in Mexico City at the Ultimate Fighter Season 3 Latin America finale. Fuck yeah! For those of you that don't know, I'm a huge Alexa Grasso fan. And if you don't know who Alexa Grasso is, you need to get your shit together! Miss Grasso is an undefeated women's strawweight fighter with an 8-0 record who has some of the best boxing, boxing and overall striking you are going to see in that division for sure. Plus, I mean, come on, look how adorable she is! On the flip side of that, the fact that she looks like a Mexican Christian Bell who sucks on Lucas candy and makes tortillas all day makes the fact that she's one of the baddest women on the planet pretty hilarious. Anyways, I'm very excited to see her fight. If you haven't seen her fight before, you need to go to YouTube and check her out. As well as if you have UFC Fight Pass, you can check out her latest main event headlining bout uh, at Invicta FC 18. She looked amazing. I personally recommend her fight with Mizuki Ino at Invicta FC 11, I believe. Last year, fight of the year stuff, I'm telling you. The MMA Bulletin reports a rumor that the UFC is interested in Chael Sonnen versus Nick Diaz, possibly at UFC 205 in New York. What? Okay, chalk this under what the fuck, right? First of all, my biggest concern is can Chael pass all of his drug tests? Because the last time he popped for four. Yeah, four. Nick Diaz ain't a safe bet either, alright? Well, hopefully he can stay off the ganja long enough to where we're not all gathering up and emailing Obama to bail him out after his next fight. The more I think about this though, this is an interesting fight. Because wrestling has always been the kryptonite to the Diaz brothers, right? But Nick holds a stern advantage on the feet, for sure, and he's certainly capable of submitting Chael off of his back. But also think about this, Chael has been competing in multiple grappling events over the last two years where he would obviously need to be working on his submission defense. So with this fight, you never know. And also, this is rumored to happen at UFC 205. Let's not forget, that's the, uh, that's the rumored Madison Square Garden card. That's going to be huge. Questions! Hey, a. a. Ron Farr asks, do you think Frankie Edgar can be the champ and stay champ for a while at 135? Ah, that's a tough one. But with Edgar, he can compete at any weight class. But at Bantamweight, you never know. But if he fights guys like Almeida, Dillashaw, uh, you know, Aljamain Sterling, Cruz, oh man, all those fights would be insane, and I want to see them all. But can he be champ? I'd like to think he gives all those guys a run for his money. But he is dealing with guys that are faster. And who knows when Edgar's uh, older age may actually start to take effect. Especially considering he'd be dealing with a whole new weight cutting regimen that he'd have to get on. Uh, 10 extra pounds is certainly no joke for a guy uh, that is as small as these fighters are. I certainly see him fighting for a title. But can he beat those top competitors at 135? It's hard to say, but I'm all about seeing him give it a shot. Kevin Tran says, Diaz, one, two, and five? Right. So this is making a comeback. I don't even remember which rounds that many say Nick won, but uh, I'll, have to, I'll definitely have to rewatch that fight. Truthfully, I thought Condit won that fight when I watched it live, but for anybody that's seen it recently, please give me some feedback, go, throw me some comments, let me know what you think. Alright, since I made this video fairly quickly, that's all I got for right now. But uh, please, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know what you think. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you guys thought. Uh, I obviously don't have a name for this yet, so if you do have any ideas, please throw them my way. All would be appreciated. And if you did like this video, please like, share, subscribe, whatever you got to do, either here on YouTube or on Facebook.
Also, don't forget to check out my podcast. The MMA Discussion Podcast can be viewed for free on SoundCloud. I'm having some issues with iTunes. I will get those problems fixed as soon as I can. Uh, please check out those episodes. Recent episodes include Emmanuel Sanchez, Bellator featherweight, uh, Ultimate Fighter winner Tatiana Suarez, and of course, middleweight contender Dan Henderson. Those are all good ones. I, got, I guarantee it. Check those out. I appreciate you guys, and I will see you in the next video next week. Later.